We ask, how can it be that we'll instruct a person that he cannot eat milk or meat and he can only eat parv items? How is this possible? An Ashkenazi person, Erev Rosh Chodesh Av, ate some meat, he is allowed to. But then Rosh Chodesh Av kicks in, now he's not allowed to eat, it's the nine days we don't eat any meat. So right in the evening, right when Rosh Chodesh comes in, he is still fleshy, so he can't eat any dairy, but he can also not eat any meat because it's the nine days, all he can eat now is arf. A Sephardi, on almost Motsi Shabbos Chazon, just before Tisha B'Av, Shavua Shechalbo, he also doesn't eat meat on that week. And just before Shabbos is over, Shalishudas, he ate meat. Once Motsi Shabbos kicks in, he's not allowed to eat meat, but he also can't eat milk because he is still fleshy. All he can eat now is barf. An Oynen, Rachman al-Itzlan, a few minutes before he becomes an Oynen, one of his relatives passed away. He ate fleshix, but now, as an oinen, he's not allowed to eat meat. He also still can't eat milk because he's still fleshix from the previous meal, so all he can eat at this time is harv. 